Let's take a look at moving some of our Warframe abilities about. Let me explain what I mean here. You know uh, Nova's Null Star that causes a damage reduction? We can actually put that on a different Warframe. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do this. For starting what we're about to do, the minimum requirement is that you have the Heart of Deimos finished because we are going to be going into the Necrolisk so that I can show you where this is. Once you have arrived, come into your menu and click on Fast Travel, and we need to go and see Sun. If we go into Browse Wiz with Sun, we will find, part of the way down, there are two Helminth segments that we can buy. The most important one is the main Helminth segment, which you can see right here. You will need to get to rank 3 with the Entrati. This is quite easy. We'll go take a look at Bounties in a second to see which ones I recommend. But the main Helminth segment is the essential one. The Invigoration is fun. It gives you three random effects that you could apply to one of your Warframes. In terms of ranking up with the Entrati then, you will need to visit Mother so that you can start doing some bounties. I find these are the best coins to be ranking up with. If you do not have a complete Necromech yet, or you have something you still need, for example, I still need to get Streamline, and I'm maxed with these guys right now, so I'm still raking in the Mother tokens from this. I know this is slower, but I like recommending what's going to be most profitable. In addition to that, a lot of people like doing these bounties here, doing one and then leaving, and it gets on my nerves, so I'm not going to recommend that you do the normal normal bounties. Although you certainly can do, you may be able to find a good squad or do it solo. This is an okay way, but I think you will be better off getting Necromech finished and sorted out in the isolation vaults. But do whichever one works for you. If you want to get those tokens much, much quicker, you can do that. Another good way, especially if you're doing the isolation vaults, is to trade some of the resources to Father. You'll find here in Parts Requisition, you're going to have been building up all of these different resources and you can get Father tokens really easy, which is the secondary reason why you would want to do isolation vaults because it gives you a good mixture of all of the different resources you can get in the area without having to actually go and mine them or fish for them or many other things. The only stuff that you can't get from there are the sun tokens. I have already done a video on how to get those sun tokens so I will flash a card up now on the video in case you guys need help getting those. It's also worth noting, as you can see here, that it will need some resources to build. Again, doing everything I just said. So doing Isolation Vaults is going to get you the a Dremel Alloy. It's going to get you Saturated Muscle Mass. You're going to get way too much Ganglion. And the Purple Velocipod will be covered in the Sun Token video. Once you have the segment built then, and of course, mine's already been built for a few days now, all you'll need to do is come on into the back and install the segment. I can't remember if it's here or with the actual mouth. Just come on in and install the segment. And now we can interact with the Frame Forge to start making modifications. So when we click on this, what you can see is this is the Invigoration tab, this is what I was saying before. So if I had Caliban, for example, I can make it so that my Caliban has 100% ability range for 7 days. Pretty cool, especially if you get one that you like in here. And if you do this, as you can see down at the bottom, if you do this for several days in a row, you can actually choose one of your Warframes to buff every now and then. It's a fun little feature, but like I said, I don't feel like it's essential, so don't worry about this too much, although some of these are pretty funny. More importantly though, on the left-hand side, and this is why we are here, these are a Abilities that we can now put onto our Warframes. Now I'm of course subsuming an ability right now. You may have seen that recently we farmed up a Protea. I got my second one and it's in here now being absorbed into the ship and I will soon be able to put dispensary on any Warframe that I want. So if you want to be a messer sat there with your own little dispensary pumping energy orbs out, it's pretty good. The idea is once you have it completed, you will need to rebuild your Warframes and then deliver them to the chair. It's pretty easy to do. You just sit in. You will need to make sure the chair is fed so you'll need to put some resources in here be smart about what you feed it so mechanically you can see there's a certain amount that it wants to eat just to demonstrate this let's imagine i want to put terrify on my nova here these can be reversed for free so don't worry about it once you put it on i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put terrify maybe i don't like using anti-matter drop i actually don't use anti-matter drop very much so we're gonna put terrify on there instead you can pick which configuration you want to put it on so when you're modding you have the configurations along the top here you can decide which one it is so you don't have to have it on all of the time and so now my configuration c is going to have terrify and boom my nova prime now has an armor strip as you'll see when it comes to feeding the frame forge so you see down here we have feed frame forge be smart about what it is that you feed it it didn't use too much food there but i will be able to demonstrate what i mean so we're going to come to these calcs which i guess are supposed to be calcifiers or something and we have different things that it wants to eat now don't feed it stuff that a it wants loads of and are hard to get or b you are I plan to use something else, like I need this to get citrine. 
However, Galos Pods, that's a pretty good one. Smash. Let's come on down to this. This needs some of these. What have I got here that's good to feed it? Oricon Cells, I'm not using too many of those. Plus it's up to 100%. And then we've got Bile. I think I'm going to feed that some Isos. Now what you'll see, you see the green? That means it's going to get a bonus. And as you feed it more of the same thing, it's going to give you less and less bonus to the amount that it's going to fill up the ship. We're going to come back out here now that it's fed. And that's actually going to give it some experience, look, because we've fed it and it's been doing some work. So the Helminth will actually have some of its own abilities that it'll unlock as we keep on feeding it. I recommend keeping this fed and try to keep Warframes being subsumed. Now, there is, of course, one problem that we need to solve for, and that is that some Warframes, such as Limbo or Mirage, have some of their parts linked to quests. Now, the way that we get those is by visiting Cephalon Samaris on one of the relays. If we come to the back here, we'll be able to see in the Offerings tab the blueprints for any of the Warframes that we have gotten through quests. So if you've completed the Silver Grove, for example, Titania will be here. If you've completed the Nidus quest, I can't remember what it was. Nidus is here. Octavia's blueprint is here. Obviously, obtaining the rest of some of their parts is going to be the same, but this is where you're going to come to get extra copies so that you can continue to subsume all of the different stuff that you want. We've got Gara here. This is necessary as the Helmet will not chew on your Prime Warframes. They must be normal Warframes and not Prime ones. So if I wanted to subsume Shooting Gallery, for example, I would need to go and get a standard Messer and feed that to the Helmet. If you need me to teach you how to go into your inventory and equip some Siphons and Synthesis Scanners, let me know. I can always show you how you can go and get Cephalon Samaris standing to get those blueprints, but it should be pretty simple for most people. Have fun playing around with the Helmet, and I'll see you all in the next video.